Die optische Kohärenz Optical Coherence Tomography is a technique that uses infrared light. Low coherence is combined with a high resolution. Using a zoom, we can accurately see very small structures as if we were looking through a magnifying glass. The resolution is between 10 to 15 microns, which is in the 1,000th of a millimeter range. The cardiology department here at the Clinical Center Dortmund has used optical coherence tomography for many years. The technique can be used to examine the inside of the coronary arteries. Unfortunately, OCT imaging can so far not be performed from the outside. You have to introduce a light source into the coronary artery. Generally, OCT is required as part of a regular cardiac catheter examination. We are already inside with the cardiac catheter and now only have to insert a tiny wire into the coronary blood vessel. The light source is inserted through this guide catheter. After three to five minutes, we have live infrared light images and are able to select the subsequent interventions and treatments. Approximately 200,000 people die of a heart attack each year in Germany. Carotid artery stenosis and other risk factors must be detected early and treated accordingly. OCT makes this possible. We can display the inside of the artery wall and the stents we inserted far more accurately and precisely. If we are unsure about the extent of the stenosis or cardiac calcification, the light source helps us to measure it. This is more accurate than ultrasound, which was used in the past. The second application is to check after a stent implantation whether the stent was optimally placed and whether there are any problems in the coronary arteries in front or behind the stent. When X-ray imaging is unable to detect the problem, optical coherence tomography comes into play. The infrared light test only takes a few minutes. Right from the start, the interior of the coronary artery is only indirectly displayed with the contrast medium. Thanks to the flow of the contrast dye, we can see the wall morphology. For the past 20 years, intravascular ultrasound has allowed us to get a more accurate inside view. It has also helped us to find better techniques to use for stent implantation. OCT gives us a resolution that is 10 to 100 times higher. It allows us to be more exact with the stent placement and the coronary artery disease treatment. One drawback is that the blood flow needs to be removed during OCT due to the contrast dye administration. This should not be done excessively because otherwise you have contrast dye side effects. This is an issue for patients with kidney problems. OCT nevertheless has many advantages versus conventional cardiac catheterization and is increasingly being utilized in difficult cases. Here you can see OCT after a stent implantation. The stent is recognizable by the tiny yellow light spots with a black sonic shadow. The stent fits tightly against the wall. Meanwhile, the same stent doesn't fit properly a little farther up. There are still a few millimeters missing. The balloon stent still needs to be stretched and fitted. We would not have been able to detect this without OCT. We use this technique when we are unsure about the optimal coronary treatment or the success of the stent placement. We then take another look at the stent from the inside and check whether it's still not close enough to the wall because this might later lead to restenosis or even stent thrombosis. Those have been common in the past. We can also detect cracks on the inner lining behind or in front of the stent and treat them accordingly. Werden erkannt und können dann entsprechend noch mal gut behandelt werden.